Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with uh, errors. So right now if I go here and click, nothing happened. So if I inspect the element, got a console. And let's clear this and let's send again the login. We have 422 and if I click, yeah, we have errors here and the errors for the email and for the password also. And also if I go to the forgot password, the same thing, but here we have also the front end. And in the register, the same. We have uh, errors for the name, email, and the password. Now let's go and work with that. Let's open the VS Code inside the source. Uh, let's go first in the store because here is going to be all the logic. I'm going to create uh, state for the errors and I'm going to name it out errors and initially is going to be an empty array then I'm going to create a gather and let's say I'm going to name it errors and we need to add the state in here which is going to return the state dot out errors okay then let's start and work with the first login then register and the uh, forgot password. So with the login, first I'm going to say this dot uh, out errors to be an empty array. So when we send the handle, when we click to the handle login, we are going to clear the errors. And if we have the error, let's cut this. And let's say try and catch here. On the try, we need to add that. So wait access post login with data, email, and password. And then this router push. Down there, we need to say catch the error. And I'm going to check now here if the error dot response dot status is a triple triple with 422 okay so let's come here and inspect the element go to the network so when we send a register yeah we have status 422 so we check if we have that status i'm going to assign the error so let's say this dot out errors equal with error dot response dot data dot errors and let's save this and let's open again here i'm going to go to the view now and pina we have out here And we have the errors, which is an empty array. Now, if I click register, and why we don't have now the errors? So we say error response dot data dot errors. So we need to have the errors in the view. Uh, because we are in the register, we need to go to the login. Sorry for that. If I click, yeah, now we have the errors, with, which is an object with the email and an array. Okay. Let's uh, go and do the same thing in the register and in the handle forgot password so handle the register first say this error this out error to empty array then let's uh, cut this and say try paste that in and then catch for the error 
got error and the same thing we are going to do also here so let's copy this and paste it here we check if the error response status for choo choo assign these authors with the errors we get from the response and also on the handle i'm going to call this dot get token also here and let's say also uh, this dot auth errors to be an empty array and then try and catch and catch for the error like this and paste what we have copy because it's going to be the same then move the await in the try here now if we want when we send a forgot password we want if we want we can navigate to the home page or we need to if we want we can display the message but this is going to with that we are going to work in the next video not here now let's save and let's open the component and the login first here we are going to check so we have the input for the email and for the password okay so the input for the email is here and after that i'm going to add a div and this div is going to be displayed if the auth store dot errors now the errors because we created that uh, getter okay if we have errors and specifically here we need to say error for the email i'm going to add a span with a class to be text red 400 text to be small and maybe margin 2 and padding 2 okay and here let's display now that error so let's say auth store dot errors dot email and we need the first one let's save and let's see so we are in the login and yeah as you can see we have the email field is required here just i'm going to add the class flex here yeah let's do the same thing now for the password so let's copy that and here we have the input for the password after that add that div and now here we need to check for the password password like this save and yeah as you can see we have the email field is required and the password field is required let's go and work with the forgot password here so close this and open the forgot password component we have the input and what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this required and add that one click save and as you can see we have the email field is required so here and that's it because we have the email here what i'm going to do i'm going to refresh and yeah we have an empty array if i click we have now the email field is required that's the same thing we need to do for the register here let's refresh here and let's open the register.view and in the form here we have the input for the name paste that in and change this to be name then we have the input for the email and paste that in and the last one is for the password paste that in and change this to be password 
click save and refresh. Very good. Now if I click register, the name field is required, the email field is required and the password field is required. Okay, now if I let's type something here, let's say test test at test.com and add the password but this is not going to be the same just to see yeah the email has already been taken and the password confirmation does not match so everything works correctly and that's it about this video how we can display the errors now you can uh, work more and make them then for example when i remove this also we can make that hide this to clear this email so we don't need to see here but that's it for for more advanced so that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video and see you in the next one all the best